What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at installing the Heroic Launcher here for Steam Deck. It's a great way to connect to your Epic and GOG stores to download and run your games. It's a little easier than some of the other workarounds to install through the compatibility layer as this runs natively. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you need to be able to do is go to your desktop mode. If you don't know how to do that, you can hold down your power button while in game mode to bring up your menu, or you could hit the Steam button, go to power, and select switch to desktop from there. So once we get switched over, we can get started. Now on desktop, the first thing I wanna do is go to the Discovery Software Center here. And if you don't have a program called Proton Up QT, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get that and install it. That's how you're gonna install your GE Proton layers, which you've probably already been doing anyway to run certain games on your Steam Deck. But if you haven't, you wanna install it and then you can launch it and add some versions of GE Proton, which is the compatibility layer to run your Windows games. So I have a bunch already installed here as I use them on my Steam Deck. What you would want to do is add version if you need to add a new version or you don't have any. Select it in here and then you'll be able to click install. There's also different compatibility tools if you ever need to get deeper into things, but GE Proton is all we care about here. You just click the install button and then you would be good to go once it's done. But I'll click cancel. I've already got my Proton layers here ready to go. Now, the next thing we want to do is get Heroic. So we're going to go over to Applications, and I'm just going to type in the search bar. This is the quickest, easiest way. We'll type in Heroic right here, and it should pop up over here on the right-hand side. Now, once it does that, all we got to do is click Install and wait for it to be done, and we'll be ready to move on. While we're waiting for that, let's talk about something else Heroic, which is leaving Windows behind to offer a Linux-based cloud gaming PC. That's exactly what Maximum Settings has done here. You can connect to this cloud PC through many devices with Moonlight, and it's a low commitment to get in with an hourly rate to give it a shot. I've been using the 6800 XT rig a lot. You get access to a full desktop with Steam, a Linux version running here for your games, Lutris for Epic Origin and Connect, and of course, support for the Heroic Launcher here on Max Settings. Game performance has been great. I've tested these guys for a couple of years here, and it's really interesting what they're doing over there. So if you want to check them out, there'll be a link in the description. Now let's get back to it here with our Heroic Launcher, which is now installed. So we'll go ahead and click on it here and go ahead and click Launch. Go ahead and close out our discovery app here and move us forward a bit, launched into our Heroic Games Launcher. Now they do have the stores here, which is basically the websites. They don't have the store fronts on the app. So you click on these and you'll be able to go in there. Now on Manage Accounts, which is really important, is where you want to go to link your Epic Store and your GOG account. You'll just click Log In. You'll go through the process there. It's really quick, pretty easy. I haven't had any problems. And then that will link up and be able to show your purchased games in the Heroic app. That works out pretty well. I'm logged into everything here. And like I said, I didn't have any problems before with that. Now in the settings, you can go in here and change your default installation path for games if you would like to. Somewhere else on the internal SSD, you can get it set up for your SD card, I believe, and be good to go there. I really didn't change anything in here. I'm sticking with default and I don't need to change anything else in the settings right now, but there's little things in here you can go in and change. Now we're ready to start with our installing of games. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in. You can see my library showing up here for Epic. I'm just gonna click install on Rise of the Tomb Raider here. And then you'll see it comes up with the same thing. You can select your install path here uh, and you have your version of Wine, which remember the uh, GE Proton we were installing, that's what I'm gonna use here that we used our Proton Up QT to install. So I'll have that ready to go and then we'll go ahead and click install here and it'll install the game. So of course, we're not going to wait for that. We'll speed us up here, guys, until I have a couple of games installed, and I'll show you what to do next. So here we go. Got some games installed. And if you click on the game, it'll show you a little bit of information about the version you're running, where is it installed, time you've played, and that kind of thing. You can click play now, change the settings, the compatibility layers, that type of thing. So uh, you're able to do that. Or, of course, you can just launch the game while in desktop mode. But mostly you're going to be running in game mode. So how would we do that? So we want to close out the Heroic Launcher and go into Steam here. And we're going to add it to Steam so it will show up when we're in game mode. So with Steam opened up here, we're going to go to add a game down here at the bottom. And we're going to go to add a non-Steam game. Even though Heroic is Linux based, we do need to add this in here. So it's going to show up right here in programs. We're going to have a check, check mark it and add select a program really quick and easy. It's not like the workaround ones where you got to go find them. This is Linux based for Heroic. So it shows up in the list. You click on it and it's added into Steam. So this will show up when we go back to game mode. So let's go ahead and close this out and go back to game mode. And I'll show you this, uh, how it shows up there and we'll launch from there and we'll go ahead and run a game. 
All right, here we are back on game mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into my library and non-Steam games and my Heroic Games launchers down here. I haven't added any media for the thumbnails or anything yet, um, but it's in here showing up as it should be and working, so we'll click here. Now, as far as compatibility layers, like I said, this is running on a Linux. Um, so you don't have to run any compatibility layers, which I'll show you here in just a second. Now, if you want to add this media like I have in other things, uh, it's pretty easy to do. I show how to do it in other videos, and I'll probably make a dedicated one. But if you go into settings here, properties, compatibility, you don't need to force anything here. Again, it's it's a Linux-based for Heroic, and all the compatibility layers are being are being handled inside of the launcher this way. It's much easier. I do like using the Heroic Launcher. I've gotten very used to it. And I think it runs the Epic games much better than installing Epic through uh, the compatibility layer and, and the other methods you can use. So I'll go in here and go ahead and launch this into um, Rise of the Tomb Raider and we'll get into the game. For the most part, games have been running pretty well for me. They are still running through Proton. They are still a compatibility layer. There are sometimes frame rate dips and little things here and there. Games aren't always perfect this way, but for the most part, it seems to be working really well for me and I'm not having any major issues with it. I am, like I said, preferring this method uh, over the Epic Game Store method. This is a little bit snappier once you're into the interface and the games just seem to work a little bit better. So I'll use the touch screen to tap play there and go ahead and get us launched into the game. It doesn't take all that long, but I'll go ahead and speed us up here and get into some gameplay. And like I said, with any, some games will run better than others. Uh, when it comes to these compatibility layers, some won't run at all. Some will have frame rate dips. Some will be really smooth. It just kind of depends. But my experience so far using the Heroic Game Launcher has been really good. Um, I'm using it mostly for Epic, and like I said, it's more convenient. It's Heroic itself is, is Linux-based, so it's not running through a compatibility layer. It's snappier. It works faster on the Steam Deck, and I just feel like the Epic games I'm installing run a little bit better than they do through the other methods of just installing Epic through the compatibility layer. So anyways, that's why I want to get this out there to you guys so you can check it out. Uh, install this. Give it a shot. I think it's working really well. Um, hopefully it helps you guys out. But anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. Leave me your comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.